What is up you guys? I know it's been like five or six months since I've uploaded a YouTube video and if you're tuning into this one, thank you guys for coming back. I just finished up editing this video behind me here and realized I never filmed an intro. So that's what this is. I'm jumping in in front of the video so I can give you guys a little bit of context but this video is actually going to hit the trash bin because I didn't film everything I needed to film for it and it's one of those videos that I just... I got in my own head, I was worried about perfect videos all the time and this one would have just died on the SD card. So I was like, you know what, screw it. I enjoy editing YouTube videos. I haven't posted in a long time. I have some footage. So I put it together. There'll probably be some voice over this video, but let's get right into it. My new videographer for the YouTube channel. It's her first day on the job, so cut her some slack. For the shit. All right, so we are fixing the world's worst oil filter housing gasket leak. It has managed to drain oil all over every part of the engine. The front is absolutely coated. Underneath the intake manifold is absolutely coated. It is everywhere. Wait till you guys see what this thing looks like underneath. And the problem is if you don't take care of this, the oil will leak all over your serpentine belt. The serpentine belt will fall off the pulleys, get sucked into your engine, and it's a bad time. So that was the first thing I wanted to do on this car. little peek at some of the oil underneath the car but it's really bad on the engine itself I mean this is the oil pan it looks black it's so full of oil and while we're down here I'm gonna go ahead and drain all the coolant you'll not want to use a screwdriver for this grab a quarter and a vice grips and this will loosen up the drain plug on your radiator draining all the coolant because to remove the oil filter housing you gotta deal with coolant so I'm just gonna get it out of the way I doubt this has ever been changed and immediately seeing the color of this coolant has me a little bit worried had this thing up in the air this car has been dealing with an annoying red warning brake light on the dash and I figured there had to be something going on and sure enough a brake pad sensor completely torn apart so I took what was left of this thing out of the car I unclipped it tried to clean everything up and then I went ahead clipped on a new sensor ran the wire pulled what was left in the brake pad out from the old sensor this little tiny piece here I don't know what the previous owner did to tear this thing apart. No clue. Super weird. But then I just went ahead, inserted the new pad sensor, put the wheel back on, and the warning light went away. Let's go back up under the hood and get everything ready so we can finally pull this leaky oil filter housing out of the car. Just like we had the world's leakiest oil filter housing gasket, we also had the world's stiffest oil filter housing gasket. This thing was freaking pancaked in there, let me tell you. Who's 
your daddy. All right, I gotta give a shout out to Sonic Tools. That's what I'm using to get into all these tight, hard to reach spaces. They're great quality tools. They look fantastic. They come in organized foam sleeves. So if you guys need new tools, I've got them linked down in the description below with a custom discount code. If you guys don't know about this auto coolant bleeding procedure, you gotta look it up. It's a game changer. And now that we're wrapped up with all that, I thought this thing needed some spark plugs and some ignition coils because it just had a little bit of a stumble. So I ordered those along with all the rest of the things you've seen in this video from ECS Tuning. They are the plug and I have everything linked in the description below. Put them in with an impact. Do you want to take this one out? I don't know if I can. If it was... All you gotta do is believe in yourself. It's so hard. All you gotta do is believe in yourself. Hmm. Put that down in there and kind of twist it until you feel it lock on. It's on? It's on? Yeah. So let's keep one arm on this to keep it stable. That way, in case it did slip oh, off, you're not stripping anything. I didn't do that. Okay, no, got, I have to strength. have two. I don't want you to bring this on. Do it and then I'll do the rest. What do you mean? How are you gonna do the rest if you can't do this one? No, like. I'm screwing it the rest of the way. Yeah. Oh my god. And that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was definitely a different kind of video. It was honestly just me and the wife hanging out in the garage, working on the car together. And those are honestly the best moments. So different video, a little bit slower pace, not super clickbaity. And again, this probably would have landed in the SD card graveyard. It never would have seen YouTube because I don't know, what do you guys think of the video? It wasn't anything mind blowing. And this is the kind of stuff that I do but haven't uploaded because it just doesn't have the edge to get the million views, but I'm trying to get over that hump. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I have more coming soon. I put Fortune Auto coilovers on this car actually and dumped it to the ground, and I have some new wheels for it, so I'm really gonna turn this daily around. It's gonna be an awesome looking daily, and I've got the OG single turbo 135 so, so, so close to running and driving again, so we'll pick back up on that content. But again, drop a comment if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and if you made it this far, you're a true OG. Thank you.